Friday Fitness. Uh, I finally get reverse dieting. I'd heard that term a bit, I never understood what it meant. It wasn't just bulking or taking a break from a diet and doing a refeed or things like that. But I finally saw the thing that explained it right, where it's like you dip your calories low and then build back up while staying below maintenance. So you're still in a deficit, but you're in less of a deficit moving forward. And that accidentally happened to me because uh, at the end of last year, and even going into this year, my dietary habits were just set. I had everything, as far as I was concerned, it was dialed in. Uh, but my wife wanted to go on a low acid diet for six weeks. And I had to make some changes. And so I just I gave up a bunch of foods and I cut some portions in half in line with the diet. I would grab the book to show you, but I don't feel like standing up. But it was a good book. Um, but my calories got super low. I was at like 1,200. Um, and so I needed to bring them back up and find foods that were in line with the diet that I liked and that um, I could eat every day. And so as I was finding those foods, actually I should chronologic this better. I should chronologic this better, shut up. Uh, so my calories got super low, but I just stuck with it for a while as I was trying to figure out what I was gonna eat. Uh, and I was still working out at the same level and it was going okay and I started dropping a lot of body fat. After a little while, my strength did start to drop off and started to feel fatigued. Uh, and that was around the time that I had found some foods that were compatible with the diet and that I liked and that I could have every day. Uh, and my calories started to creep back up. It was like 12 and then 15 and then 17. And I'm adding muscle and dropping fat and the fatigue doesn't seem to be cumulative. Every time I start to feel fatigued during workouts and after workouts and all that, I can the next week bump my calories up one or two hundred calories a day and that clears up the fatigue. I don't need to deload or anything like that. So workouts have been really fun and productive and great and I'm I mean, surely the lowest body fat percentage ever. Like, I feel fantastic about my physique right now. Uh, and I think it bodes well for uh, this coming year. And I think I will just kind of slightly keep increasing my calories if I can keep figuring out how to do so. Because the low acid diet was only a six week recovery thing um, meant to like heal up the sensitivity, yada yada yada, food nonsense. Um, but yeah, I think I will kind of keep dialing up my calories over the course of the next like several months until I'm you know at maintenance and then maintenance ever so slightly plus uh, and start seeing where like my body fat levels off again and see if, yeah see if I can actually figure out what like my true maintenance calories are and dip below them as need be so yeah that's just an exciting fun thing that I like it's, it's neither exciting nor fun, it's just awesome to me. Uh, and I thought I'd talk about it because I felt like talking about it. Alright, Friday Fitness, reverse diets. Think about it. <laughs>